Bob. Huh? No? Alright, we can do something later, right? Halloween. Oh Today is the 16th? Today is the 16th? Father's really in good with these things. Oh, shucks. Today is the 16th, boy. Morning, guys. A good, great morning to all. Watch me. Make sure you watch. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> you think that he forget? Yes, Sean, just remind me. <laughs> forget it. I love you, though, man. <laughs> oh, lad, daddy could be such a misfit sometimes. Just the end over my head, son. I was never good with dates, though. Your mother, oh, ran by. She planning for a month before. She's planning for a whole year before. Like, she's just come down to the date. <laughs> you know? Granny call yet? Uh, granny, uh... You check shout, yeah, right? Yeah, I put some good. Good morning, guys. The critic is in the car. So this morning is my, today is my big son birthday. And, and it's, it's Sean come and tell me, and, and you'd believe he's the lackadaisical one. I, I, I sail him, but don't worry. You get the biggest, the best birthday gift. An individual forget your life, you got family, setting up your business, independence. Life couldn't be better. So I got a, a, a young man. Yesterday I was in Kanji and I must thank the, the residents of Kanji and and the, the, the Kanji is the, the whole area, eh? Kanji Creek to go in and so on. But the love, the, the positive vibes was overwhelming. I went up there to see. Let me tell you how the story played out. I went up there to see um, one of my followers and supporters, his son, come back and got married last Tuesday. I was supposed to be there for the wedding. But you know, Tuesday is not, weekend is not me thing. People got so much of problems in this country as being over me head. And then yeah, I know a lot is going on with me personally. I think today is what Monday is last week. You had your problem, right? Yeah. So Michael had the accident and them things. So I didn't. If I couldn't make it to the wedding, um. So I'm looking for these people who invite me, and um, I'm looking for where they're living, where they tell me to come. So. I think it's the village before Betsy Ground or yeah. So I gone down in the back dam. Now you know me. Me see cane field. This is me going down there. Come out the vehicle watching what's going on because I see the cane. And I'm 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 wondering, well, when this this area here gonna be active again and these kind of things. So I see a young kid riding a bicycle, a boy. And the guy said. Mr. Critic? I said, yeah. He said, look, look, go down there with a, with a my mother and my father just follow you. Go down there with a black car there. So I said, don't worry, I'm looking for somebody. But when I done, I'll come back there to y'all. So, after I done, 
found the person that I was looking for, I go to um, I go to the family. And lo and behold, one of the most heartwarming experiences. This is just we roll up, sit down, you have the regular Guyanese home you go to, right? But remember for me, there's that added love and affection. But when you go, you can't get love and affection from a house that doesn't have love and affection. You understand? We are going to share comments. But when you go and you feel the vibes here, right? So, it's half black, half Indian family. This is that, this how simply I could put it, right? And we sat there, everybody come out, we get photographs. Um, the kids were very pleasant. I was, I was worried about how they're affected by COVID-19 and everything else going on around them and how they're schooling and all of that. You know me always, why no, why go on, why you go on, why it not going on, whatever. So they collected 25,000. The father was able to tell me, my watch, we collect we 25,000, we doing up something in the house so we could sell well, here this 25,000, we did this with it. So most people, a lot of people, a lot of Guyanese are going to be doing things that they can remember that they got this 25,000 and this is what they do. And this is what you do in a solid family structure. Now, this is the ideal Guyanese family. They rich, they poor. You understand? They just got a positive vibes. They got nice kids. Father works hard. Mother's the ultimate housewife. And I am there and they, they, they more in to me. Why does say? Why does do? How I does move so? And I am sitting there. I'm watching these kids. And one time I go and shop for buy something. So I say, my watch. We can sit down. We can take something. We can buy something, right? And there's this little baby. And she is, she is about, I would want to think she's about five or six. So she said, Mr. Critic, we went to Linden, right? Now I try to figure out what she's saying. So she's telling me. She went to Linden, like she had more care to Linden. And then they also, she also would have been watching me and see when I was driving around going to Linden. And I think this is, I think this is the ultimate thing. You know, as I go along, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I have not been formally trained in communication or anything. Yes, and I just rough around the edges and, and, and love my country. I want to showcase my country. So... As I go along, I am looking at how to better the Guyanese critic. And that is why it's maturing and every day is better than the day before. Right? So this little kid, this six-year-old. Now, you got people doing things and different people following it. But nonetheless, it's adults. There is nothing really that Guyanese kids latch on I've never seen I know y'all y'all correct me if I'm wrong but for instance the way that Guyanese kids and I realize we oh, education is the future and through the kids we can get this thing right because I explained to you down at the end what happened and why we knew why we gotta work hard on educating the kids why we gotta work hard on the truth why we gotta crush the liars and the deceiters and the people who mislead the people in this country now and there positive vibes and the little baby was able to say Mr. Critic I, I went to Linden so she watching me video and she know yes I went to that place remember what Linden is you know how much kids don't know where Linden is so I gotta do a tour I gotta do the train so if the kids who can't make it right to go to Linden we show them what Linden they said yes we know about Guyana I gotta go detail and show them let him and all these things I do it but I gotta do it more and, and tailor these things more for the kids that we got local things that they could watch, um, they find funny, and they could be educated by. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Talk to me, brother. Who's Yeah. Really? I like Hello? What's your, what's your problem, buddy? No, you're not my problem. I got a problem in Taking, okay, man. 
players get the class last night. Your players get what? Yeah, break on into last night. Uh-huh. And if we contacted the police for well, the since five o'clock this morning we made a report and no out and now the police can't show up it. Okay, Grove Police Station. Yeah. I'll message somebody in authority and see what could happen there. Yeah, we can't my car really control them, we can't No, so we don't went to my car, I mean you see nobody showing up on the now. Anthony. I, I tell the police if they move swiftly, they could apprehend the guys with police that they go carry out. But if yeah, and we can't take my team, you know, we got the next thing they go and say they go and give you trouble. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Understood. I'll, I'll, I'll follow up with somebody as soon as I stop. I'm driving as soon as I stop. I'm going to message somebody to see what can be done, brother. Right, Inside Cane Grove, well, is, they, they, they most likely only had one robbery there. I ain't I, I think they got more than one people. So um, let me message them and see what we're going to Jesus Christ. You're police. You're at a station. What could be, what could be, what could go in on in the district? That you can't go up on a robbery right there. A robbery just happened. They ain't proactive. They ain't reactive. You got to pull them. You understand? You literally got to beg them for come and do their work. When somebody in a 30 police call the, the Cane Grove police station or the Mahika police station, whichever one covering Cane Grove, and, and, and deal with this issue, man. Huh? Oh, it's true on the streets? Yeah. So are you showing me, man? Is that you showing me? Are you showing me the next street? The next street. It's okay. Say nothing else. Yeah. So, I'm by this family, and then I'm I'm all taken up. Um. Now let me tell you. I grew up with my mother alone. We were poor. Nothing. Nothing. We, we were comfortable. My mother, you know, tried my best. But for the most part, we were poor. Right? We didn't do bad, but we were poor. Now, these families that I've been by yesterday, they ain't poor. They ain't poor in knowledge. They ain't poor in wealth. Because they got a little bit of everything. You got to see the children. You look at the children alone, you realize these children up to date. You understand? And... The, you, you guys see how the everybody sitting on the table, husband, wife, everybody sitting on the table. So you guys see, the, you know, they got the vibes. They sit down, and the love that they showed me was overwhelming. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! This is the ideal family. This is what I want to see more of. And you know, what I realize when I'm there, I realize it's not about money. We ain't gotta get them money. We gotta get them the knowledge of how to live better. Oh Jesus Christ, you see what's going on, eh? You gotta stand up in a line like. Yes, yes. No one does that, that, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Me and me with that. That just trigger me right there. Me see people stand up in a line for thing and I'm in it with them that. Yeah, so I'm telling y'all, when I'm there with this family, I realize it's not about money. It's about an understanding where you want to ask about the children. They say, yes, the children doing good in school. What are they doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What grades they get them? Bam, they could have, the father and the mother could have told you that right away. I said, father, what are we going on with you? One driving a taxi, one is um, a cane cutter. You know? And you feel this positive vibes. Everybody doing something. One of my other followers come. She husband is do body work and all them thing now. They got the own little thing going on. Everybody got a nice house. The surroundings clean. It is a it is a mentality. It is a positive mentality that you have to develop. That's all you got get. A positive mentality and, and a purpose that here, this is what you want. You want to build a family. Yes, sir. I want to get a daughter. I want to get a son. And, and, and you know, those what got When I look at some people and look like they're always the bad, it's not as a result of their environment alone. It's a result of their own doing. Because they like they're holding back themselves. Now, I'm their boat has got anchor. There is an anchor. 
There is the anchor. They ain't got no boat. They ain't a boat with an anchor. You understand? So, we got to look at that. And we got to see how we can develop families. How we can work harder to develop ourselves. How through developing families, we can develop a country. You understand? And this is a home that, by the way, I tell you, half black, half Indian. So, everything there in this house, this is real Guyanese. Now, let me tell you the end of the story. When Rasta man come, them family friend, he's there about the place. And so, Rasta man come. So, them say, you know this man is who? And the rest of man know me, recognize him. So one of the girls said, this is the guy and he's critic. Man said, oh, the man turned around right to me. The man, oh, this is the man with the said the thing with the black people. Hello? And... Yeah, I asked him right away. I said, yeah. you hear I say something? Because right. when me watch the rest of man, look like he has Facebook and them thing there. Right? So me wife know how he know what I said. He that tell he <laughs> Yeah, we have all the say you must follow your leaders, don't question your leaders, listen to what they say. Right? So I watch him and say, you know something. And I say my here, the things that I said was in a video. Did you see the video? Ma said no. Me talk, me you rap and thing. I clear up me side. But you know what happened right to me now here. When Rastama here, I is the guy in his critic. He demean a change because we hear about me. What they tell him about me. Right? But when me and Rastama reason, Rastama demeanor change. And Rastama show a positive vibes. So I watch. If I had decided, well, you feel so about me and I, I feel so about you and we go war. You get wrong, and it will stay so. But I clear up me side. I said Rastaman is not true. I didn't say what they said. I said, and we we, we had a positive reason. And you know what? Make me realize, even these people who are out there who have an issue with you, you can't vex with them because they have been misled. They were grown up. They, they were brought up for us to trust a set of people. And in trusting those people, they are now misled by those people. You understand? They are then misled by those people. Rastama come. And when he come, me he got vibes. Because we hear the PNC. It's about me. That's why I can't done with them. I can't done with them. Not in my lifetime. You understand? Somebody got for deal with Green John Harmon. And the likeness of them who have been lying and misleading people. Somebody got deal with them. Yes, sir. When I watch, now I meet a man. The man is see here. I said on my Facebook, you know, he was told I said something by PNC. Actually, and I can't how much more people they mislead. They tell people Jack Dio is a demon and this and that. Yes, sir. They is going to tell people everybody else bad but them, but they don't do nothing for nobody. And I watch it. And I say, wow, wow. I want to share this experience with you. And I too. Because when you watch a man, a yellow, the one, the one critic, he's targeted. He didn't see, he didn't know, he was told. So I can't vex with the man. When I watch it, Rasta man, and when I left, Rasta man is a good person. When I left, we had a positive vibes. We left with a smile. And just because, not because Rasta man is stupid, it's just because where he just get his information from. He don't get his information from me. He get his information from them who mislead him. You understand? When he get your information from me, you know, when I clear up Rastaman, I say, well, yeah, bye. And Rastaman didn't go say, well, you lie. I said, man, no, I didn't say what they said. I said something. They twist what I said. You understand? It is misconstrued what I said. So, when I clear up, Rastaman is a different man right away. I calculated him. I know. Me want to fight with these people. Me want to fight. My job is to educate them and shine them. And better me more than anybody else. Because of the fact it's me is the man that light on. You understand? So, 
there's a story I want to share with y'all that, that, that I had in Kanji yesterday. I was in Kanji. I've been to a number of communities there. Been up the Kanji Creek. Right till along the back. And it was a positive vibes. I tell you, I learned a lot. Um, I want to thank the families again who came out to see me and them thing. The real positive vibes. Um, real love. I feel the vibes. I don't really tell people because it's their community. You gotta remember now when me and people interacting, they studying me and that is the guy in and I studying them that this is guy in this that I want to develop and why. But here you don't get better the way we went yesterday. I felt so proud, you know, for no that well here. These people follow me, these people are positive people. I know some people a, a girl messaged me from Linden and such. So she said, Mr. Critic, since I listening to you. I got a positive approach to life and I just develop myself and this is what I do. And this is the kind of things I feel proud about that we're working towards. Yes, and developing a nation, develop. I know we got we differences, people got, like I go and check me reviews, right? And if you see bad talk, what, after the elections, oh God, yeah? How people got bad talk for talk about me, a racist and this and that. But if you go to those people, they shine, you know, they take care of themselves. These is people who've taken care of themselves, they're doing well for themselves, but they don't do nothing for nobody else. All they day is here, he, she said them say. He said them say. You understand? That's what they day. You can't find them doing. If you look at the people who would speak against me, you don't got here. I don't to know. There's nobody in the hierarchy of the PNC ever come out and say, this man critic is never say a lie or not. Let's answer everybody else. There's answer lies. They can't answer truth. They would answer a lie and say, yes, it's a lie. They wouldn't watch the truth and they don't they can't answer to the truth. You can't, they can't answer to the truth. There's the number one problem. Nobody never look at it. Which major figure in the opposition was opposition or when they were in government ever come and answer one of the things that I put forward to them? Because I don't lie. They know they can't come and say a lie. They would look bad. You know what I'm saying? Now they're in opposition. They can't say this. They can't even come and sit down and have an interview with me. Because they know. I would ask them questions that they can't answer. You know what I'm saying? People in Anderson, how was the vibes, you know? If you look, it's the hungry bellies and the low lives. Why they call it out all the time? They say, yes, he's this or he's the. No, me, why you the word me? Yes. Yeah, it's the banner with the crazy hair style. It's the banner with the loose tongue. It's the banner rough around the edges. You understand? Know it's the Creole's, Creole's God in Guyana. Right? But why you want you tell me is a lie. That's all I want you to say. I want you to say, critic, you lie. That's all I want you to say. Me want to la 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 story and mix up that. You understand? Know so... That is the vibes I wanted to share and, and thank those families for the kind of the kind of love and appreciation I get. And then I hear a next story. I heard a story about a family who was robbed and assaulted. And so I'm not going up there and cover the story because it's a real, it's a real, you got, I don't know if the people still want to talk about the story, but I would go there and if they want to talk about it, they want we get it out, we can get it out there again. Yes, eh? Um, where justice has not been served for some people up Skeldon side, we gotta go there and I gotta talk to the, them, them people. Now, the next thing is, they got a 20 something year old by. I know what exactly what age. He gets to with a 13 year old girl. I'm gonna show you all the picture just now. Now, he family calling the family and telling them how the girl will go girl school if this son get locked up and all them things. Your son will get locked up for rape. What you don't know, your son is playing with his life because rape. There are men in Guyana that go to jail for life for it. You understand? If your son don't bring back the people, child, your son is going to go to jail because no child under the age of 16 can consent to sex. That's the first thing. Right? So I just want to you know that. Hello, good morning. Yeah, brother. Critics, you get twenty-five thousand. If I get it, twenty-five thousand. Yeah. No, no, I ain't get it yet, son. I ain't get it yet. But I, I, I can take me on by. Where are you there? 
No, but what area are you there? Is it possible to get German 25,000? Which area are you there? It's not 25,000 per person, you know. It's 25,000 per household. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, but you then you are a household, you got family and so you sound like one picnic. Oh Alright and, and you living in a house by yourself? We gotta work on them picnic, some of them are slow bad. Critic, where is the 60,000 donated? When you gonna call me? Watch how I gun get cost now. Ganesh, don't make joke with me. I never attack you every day. Don't make joke with me, boss man. You got you looking like you're looking for friends for be associated with you when your teeth, the people them money at UG. Don't like get vexed with you, you know, Ganesh. I don't make hello. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Auntie, it's not me take your money. How are you gonna say you're not hearing nothing from me but the money? So you me take your money, you ask me for go and find the girl the post office for thief your money. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well you talk us about you talking and I hear nothing from me, it's like me take your money. At no, there I, I called oh me call the I got to get on to the postmaster. I try to get my number for the postmaster and make a follow up with you, don't worry. After lunch yeah. today, make a follow up with you. If you deal with these people straight, you get a problem. Good morning to the European UK side. Good morning, Ganesh, my pal. I see you put up that on my page. I hear what I tell you. We's friends don't let me get wrong. We's friends don't let me get wrong. I don't make certain jokes. I am not I known to be a thief. Wrong. I have not known to be get myself typing corrupt things. You understand? Nobody can come and say that but me. They could say my mouth loose and all them things now. They could sit down. My hair got bad hair style. But they can't list me. I don't try to get a friend for tie up and you crap dance like how you been use the people and money at UG and all them things. The door let me get wrong. No, we were get wrong, Ganesh. We were get wrong. I would keep on air. We were get wrong, partner. We friendship, we're done! Ganesh, 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 my pal, don't make certain joke with me. Now listen to me carefully. We received $10,000 for you to donate to the Argentina forensic thing. Another man said he gave him $40,000 to the two families. He want to give it to the two families, he don't want to give you nothing. I have not received those $60,000, I tell you. Ten thousand dollars. Yes, and a message says somebody tell you they give me money. Nobody give me no money. Ten thousand dollars. Everything I do, Ganesh, is public. If you think you can laugh, laugh with me, and skin skin your teeth with me and stain me name, I is not the one who take no money from UG Student Association Loan Association. I will talk about it every morning. Ganesh, don't let me get wrong. Don't go put it thing for me page comments like you could stain me, Bano. I have no $60,000 I received. Michael went to collect $10,000 to give to you with the forensic thing. I call you and tell you how you come up with $60,000. Ganesh, if we dare good, stay good. I will think up some things for your brother. I said to you, I did not take any money from UGSS either. You and I had this conversation. No, we had no conversation. The whole country said you thief the money. If you want to get stupid, we could get stupid, Ganesh. Ganesh, don't let devote my time and my life to your boss. Let me stay good as friends. I see you put one comment, you put comments from my page, and then you come and get off like his friend. We could get wrong. It doesn't matter. I get wrong with my own motto. You ain't nobody far for get wrong with. Just depot your eyes. You can't put... How you gonna put 60000 I call you and tell you Michael collect $10,000. How you put... You're waiting for the 60000 Don't make certain joke with me, boss. 
when it comes to thief man and corrupt ways like the PNC and your data. That is promise. The man is in the country. The man called me, I said, buddy, don't tell me things that you can't deliver. The man said, don't want to give no money to Ganesh. I want to give, no, listen to me. The man said he want to give the two families. He want to give her, um, um, what did, what is thing name? What the Indian by name? Harish Singh. Harish Singh, right? And he want to give the Henry family. They called me last night. No, 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 but what I'm saying, I am always talking about these things publicly. You gone and put up there now. Like me got some sticks, I don't have nothing. I have $10,000 mass in. Michael went to collect it and after I collect it, I called you immediately and told you I have $10,000. I'm the telling you that did not call me, check back your message. Ganesh. Ganesh. Listen to me. Anyway, you to Ganesh, Ganesh, you, listen to me, you and the thiefing criminal organization that you're a part of, can't stand me name by. Let me tell you. Yes, I was telling you. Yes. Me? How you know he's a part of the PP? Ganesh, we got to war, we got to war. When you ready? Wait, listen to me, when you ready? When you ready, you could ask for truth. I done with you. I want somebody from the UG, I'm going to do an interview with somebody from the UGSS. Well, Ganesh, you thief the money. No, me, me in the position of this with these man. Me in the position of this with these man. We got to war. Who, anybody, know anybody who know when Ganesh thief this money? Yeah, I'll get the facts to me. And let me get this story done with. Who are gonna get time to man? Who are gonna get time to? Let me get the facts. Let me interview the person who was there at the time. How much money, thief? You understand? This man is getting stupid. -y. Hello, good morning. Don't worry, I got sat on Ganesh. I got sat on Ganesh. I got sat on Ganesh. Don't worry. I'm going to do you something that you never forget. I don't make certain jokes. You could make... You could make even Auntie Ma joke with me. You could call me Auntie Ma Minky. But when it comes to people money, I, I, I just lose it. Yes, and I just lose it. I don't make joke. And Ganesh being an old thief, man, he knows more than anybody else. They always thiefing people money and misusing people money. So he wants a friend for involving the shit. Going to post about some money. You be them call me last night for come at sleeping. I said, Bano. I said, Bano, me, me coming out, me house this all the night. The people don't want to give Ganesh the money. When the man say, I thought it's dirty marriage. The man say, you want to give the families the money. You thought there is the money for the family. The man say, you want nothing to do with no forensic thing with Ganesh. I called Ganesh. I said, I got 10,000 for you. You understand? He now try to put it like, I got some money for he. No, you can't, you can't think Ganesh. You make a flip on you, by. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Predict. I was on live when you talk about the $10,000. Ganesh is a stink mouth liar thief. Everybody was on live watching your show about the $10,000 when you receive it. Ganesh is a thief, just like the PNC. He's telling lies just like the PNC. I'm going to to you, don't worry. Happy birthday to your son and take it easy, be safe. Thanks, man. Okay,
Yeah, I gotta get somebody from the UG for tell me the story where Ghana is chief this morning, man. Let me let me run it for a week or a month. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Critic. I'm calling from Barbies. We have an incident yesterday at the New Amsterdam Hospital. A child has um, pushed a battery into his nose, went to the hospital, to Port Barth Hospital. They sent him to New Amsterdam Hospital. They keep the, the child there. They say they have to admit the child. Whereas you treat that, that as a emergency because something is in the nose. They say they got to um, keep the child there. Then they feed the child a little bit something to eat because he was hungry. Get the child along with him there. When they're done, um, Dr. Ganesha explained that there is there is a um, certain procedure you have to do. And then Dr. Yakub said, come and say, you have to, um, the child got thing in his stomach and you cannot do nothing with the child. You got to admit and stuff like that. They had to take out the child from the Amsterdam hospital, carry the child to Anamaya. And the same Dr. Yaku, which would have admitted the child to the hospital, come at Anamaya to do a surgery. Whereas you have a procedure at the hospital. So if you, you carry an emergency case there, what would you expect of them? Me and Anderson, you're confused, me. You go public hospital, the doctor there revert the child to private hospital for get money. Well, they didn't revert the child. They were admitting the child in the Amsterdam hospital. Uh -huh. But the child got a battery into his nose. Which is, uh, you got to you gotta treat as, a, as an emergency case. Obviously. Did you the child? Uh -huh. Gone deeper down to his lungs. What would happen? So, one, the kid get the thing out his nose. They had to take the child out, bring back the child from New Amsterdam to a And the same Dr. Yakub that was, was going to admit the child at hospital, saying that hospital got the procedure. Then, it's the same doctor came to Anamaya to do the surgery from the, with the child at Anamaya. So Anamaya does not have a, a, a procedure, whereas New Amsterdam have a procedure. Man, the problem is, Mina, understand what you're saying. You're, you're telling me something, but like, Mina, I get it. Like, me just not smart enough for getting the story. It's a simple, Mr. Critic. We take the child as an emergency case, which is the child have no. a battery into his nose. You care a child at the hospital. You expect yeah. the hospital to look after. The hospital to look after the child. You carry the child at a private hospital. The doctor over by the public hospital come over and look after the child. Yeah. So what you said, I got run-ins, they must send away people from the public hospital, the private hospital, let me ask you. Well, I don't know if that's the case. No, but well, what is your problem with your call for the child look after? What are you talking about? What is the problem? Me and Trevor figure out what is the problem. If you have an emergency case, the, the doctor at the hospital wasn't supposed to, to take care of the, the problem there? Well, I, I would want to think so. Good. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, that he wants to admit the child, whereas if the child pushes his finger into his nose, trying to get out the thing because he knows that something is in there. Mm. So we were trying that the, they, they would have... Um, no, but if the hospital, if the hospital decides to admit, obviously... A child has to be admitted to go into surgery. You don't let the, the emergency room and go into surgery. You got to be admitted. They check, your, they, they check your vital signs and then you move on to wherever how, what they got to process where, how they do it. But then again, it's the same thing you came at Anamaya to do. Well, different admin. I, I, I would want to think there's a, there's a standard medical process that is used. You understand? But mm -hmm. different hospitals, different administration do things differently. And public hospital of all, way different in terms of, I would want the thing being backward and slow. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, so, what I'm saying is that um, the, the battery is in there. It's just that whatever the procedure is, yes, you take in the child. But admitting the child, he said it's, it's going to be in the... So but you guys were in a hurry. Today, now you don't know what can happen there. 
Oh. So they created an atmosphere for you run and go and deal it with it at the private hospital? Yeah. All right. I will talk to the CEO for that hospital and see what's happening. Because, I mean, if the battery where as a, 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 like a two-year something child would know that he knows the battery is in there. So he would want to, you know, push his fingers, try to see what to do how, uh, and, and do his own app because he's a child. All right. I'm going to look into it. So, if you um, admitted the child from yesterday to today, you don't know what can happen. Whereas, um, I'm going to look into it. Don't worry. I get it just. I get it just to the story. Don't let me go it over again. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, critic, my brother. Happy birthday to Michael. I was live on your program. I'm calling from Canada. When you said that he should give you $10,000. So don't let him stress you out. No, Ganesh is a old thief, man. Ganesh is a old thief, man. And he want to involve people in stupidness. And I don't hear. It listen yeah, to me. Any kind of joke, you could call me anything. Me and mind your cost me, you could tell me about my mother. But when it comes to thiefing or hungry belly, low life behavior, I take serious offense. I flip. So don't worry. I got he covered. Oh, shh. Let him raise your blood pressure, Michael. Not me blood pressure. Yeah, we were. You know how much blacks we got here for the, the walker? 30. 30? How much are 30 blacks? I got in and check the price now. And well, let's go, let's go right away. Them buyers at the back, they got the blacks? Yeah. So they're delivering so too? Well, let me buy the blacks and let's get cracking. Somebody trying to call me on a phone number there is serious. Let me call them back, man. Yeah, call back. Who calling from the landline? Seven one eight. He waited for the sixty thousand dollar. I was watching a live the night when you said it's ten thousand for Ganesh and four five thousand for the families. He bold faced liar. Don't worry. When I done with it, every morning he wake up. Yeah, you son. It's UGSST. We got we got let we got get this story started out. Can you do me a favor, please? Can you ask Ghanaian critic to unblock me due to a misunderstanding? He blocked me. No, no misunderstanding. Ghanaian, why you put a... Fuck. <laughs> you know, he's getting stupid one, one time. Them banning no pr here. There's no honor among thieves, you know. Them banning no principal. But this one went right in. Thief man ain't got time. Listen to me, thief man. An auntie man. There's trouble. They talk anything and do anything. Plus, I write in articles and write in the name, but it's a putting up a picture. You yeah, understand? So, when you Google Ganesh, like how when you Google Granger, you see Rigadier Granger. You yeah, understand? Every single guy there put up a different story. When you Google Ganesh, it must turn up a thief money from UG. Yeah. You ain't got nothing for doodle lad Ganesh. I, I, I would even do the thing name. Don't make certain joke with me, Bano. For some sixty thousand dollars, I tell you, any life I got ten thousand dollars I receive for you. When I go in the bank, I ask me when I say bye. When I see Ganesh, yesterday he called me. Yesterday he called me. He didn't ask me not my no money. He don't know where we meet up. I can give him the money. The man say he does not want to give Ganesh no money. The man called on the program thinking we talking about giving the family money. I made with this vehicle, man. Like, I this on the street. I have me drive and, and bore me tire side. I give me money for me tire. I organize the thing there, man. You got to drive off the road. Them two sit down in the yard and loving like Alice in Wonderland. Them park up on the road. Me got to drive off the road for pass.
What size black you buy? Six inch. Fine, that doesn't matter. Sir. You got cement for the, the part? I got one sack cement, I don't know. No, just for fully holes, huh? Holes, yeah. Alright, so. Okay, work with this one thing. If it could do. Buy an axe then for the You got sand? Yeah, I got sand. Alright. Buy an axe then. Buy an axe for deliver. Right away. I got 3,000 per meter. Oh, Roger, Roger. Make sure you get bill. Yeah. You believe you could come in for me game and, 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 and hot up me here? Thank you for checking in, bro. I'm feeling better slowly since I returned from Washington. I was exposed to the virus symptoms. Uh, my bro. Throat clear up amazing, thank God. You're gonna be okay, brother. I got you, I got you. Pretty ticket it is simple. They derive the job to the private and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's what I'm trying to get to the lady because she talking a different story. She talking line line, so that's the private guy needs. They may not forget to the point. They may go wrong, come wrong, and when you think you, you, them stories are what you hear. Yes, yeah, so and get to the point. What you say? Where you accuse, accuse them, not? Talk the story and like try to get me for figure out what I want. Accuse them. They try to transfer things from public hospital to private hospital. Story done. Do that critic. He is a nasty person. I have someone because of the pandemic stuck in my house. She told me so much story about this fool. Let's just send all the, let's just send all the facts to me. You wish you know about Ganesh. Anybody know anything about Ganesh? You send it to me right away. I can show when you want to cross me one time, what has happened? I remember me not play them game where them bandits play like me and DC, the whole public know that this is what I retaliate for. Me and playing no thing, no game. If you cross me, me and taking it like trying to involve me in shit. It's personal. You say, oh yeah, professional. I know professional, we get personal. Personal is a word that exists. Um, God bless you and your family, bro. Happy birthday to your son. Bro, we in New Tanky having a water problem. I can get on to and talk to the guy with it. I remember the interview Barat and he tell you about Ghanaian story. Yeah. Everybody know Ghanaian chief, but they, 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 nobody remind them enough. And he looking for somebody now. Juice, vegetable. You're looking for somebody. The police have commenced an investigation surrounding the discovery of a body which was found on Sunday the 15th at Third Street, Morning Post. Wow. I didn't know about that. So this banner, get away with the people, them data. Let me show you a picture. And we're going to put it up there anytime, you know. Go care about the people, them data. This young man here, care with the people, them data. 13 year old girl. Right? You see, you see, good day. Thirteen-year-old girl. So yeah, I tell this guy if y'all know you, y'all recognize he care about the blame data. And the them call the blame say, but the girl go go girl school. The girl go go girl school. He gonna go to jail. You understand? He will go to jail. Right? This is what gonna happen. A jail, you get jail. A 13 year old young lady can't consent to nothing. Ganesh does if you need money, your viewers will back you up. You just need to steal like him. Man, they got some teeth, man. Mad man. Auntie man drinking Saji Wang with a jail man and a blind man on the St. Philip Street. That's what Ganesh is like. <laughs> the man sing a song right away for Ganesh. Ganesh, if you want a problem, you get one. And give you one. Well, you don't do. So I got for do you. You answer, you don't do. Them shoppiness me not encourage. You. Next day, you can't put anything but me page with them kind of shoppiness. If you're shopping, you know what's going on. I would straighten you out. You answer? When you stand up for talking, pardon me, please, you say, oh, what a thief, man. I would make sure every guy needs to remember you're a thief, man. You answer? Don't cross me. I would devote a time for you. I would do ads and all of them, but TV and newspaper for you. If you don't know me, Ganesh. You feel the joke is that, bud? 
You feel this joke is that one? Me don't play them game. Me ain't play no thing and frighten for tell people. That people see that eyes get brutal. When you go in me bad books, the whole world is know. Me like Jack, yo, he keep secret as so no, no, not me. The whole world would know. You understand? Every man I wake up and tell you he's a thief. And you are devoted seven days for you every day. We're going to remind people he's a thief. I'm going to raise up the UG story and stuff. So I'll give you seven days for the one stupid comment to me. Because you know it's not so. Pretty good morning. Ganesh is a crab louse. I don't know how you can have him as a friend. He's not no friend. Well, oh, we just get around. We was friends. You know me and Glenn? I'll get around our last week. From the damn PNC, the two damn thief in. You know me and Glenn? I'll get around. Who's Ganesh? Good morning, critics. I received my 25,000 wins of forest. Glad for you guys. Here. You get a rat, you get a cost me a chase before me office. You be. You tag it. I say, hey, I don't depot them. When I tell you, I get a telly. You boss, you disrespectful, boy. I don't want to do it, you know. <laughs> Ganesh, you don't know me, boy. Once I know you right, we get it wrong. No, 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 we ain't giving nothing to the fund no more. They got thief the money. If God is, if they don't start with fraud. We ain't giving nothing to the fund no more. Done with her, you done with her. I call the man telling me you want no more. Me want to profit the money. The man tell me, but like I'm going to get the family, go with the man. I, I think I should go with the man, but me want, me want to touch the money. When they don't get teeth up all the money, they want to involve people in stupidness. Mohammed what Bal? Mohammed Bal? Who's Mohammed Bal? Who's Mohammed Bal? Lachim, so. Shit. Arty Blacky, Blacky, Blacky. Hello, good morning. Hi, Critic, good morning. This is Lalita. I message you this morning from Florida. Yeah, in connection with well. Yeah, um, my son, I actually am living in Florida, and my son lives in Guyana, and he has turned back in his business. I don't want it going live, right? But that's why. Like... Here, now, where is it? Just message me on WhatsApp. What, what was the problem? What was it? Uh huh. No, no, no. If, they, if your son asks that the account to be closed, they can't say they know who taking out the money. And there's a process for, listen to me, when you put your money in the bank, whatever happens in the bank once is not an effect of what, as a result of what you did, they have to, they have to refund your money. So don't worry about that. Let him, listen to me, let your son, eh, there is a printout of what was bought and so on's money come out. If it come out from the ATM, they would be the bank always have cameras. The ATM has a camera in front of your face. If it comes out from in the bank, well, if it comes out, somebody go and take out money from in the bank, they will know who did that. Right? So, I mean, like, no, but like you're listening to me, man. I mean a bit long, long story. Like you call me for stress me out this lady, this morning, lady. Let your son call me. You the America, he the hey. Let your son call me and I'm gonna go through the process and see what's really is it. Safe for him. Well, uh, y'all let the money go long it way. If y'all little for lose 600,000, the people take your money. We scared for. He must be making it for all we know. He making you and me a fool. He must be drawn. We scared for. We, who scared for last money? 
You think make some of your story don't make any sense? We scared about. You last money, you scared. You get the thing? They are dropping the same next hour. Okay, son. So get the finish up with. You know you got come from the wall here. You got you got trouble and so? Mm, yeah, draw a line straight straight. No no. Here. You gotta start from the wall, check the wall, the black one's gonna brace the wall and tie off the two. The steel gonna hold it in there. No. Okay, let's go back. Hi, good morning. Yeah brother, talk to me. Good part of success, partner. You can't, your auntie can't get land for, um, title for squatting land. They're squatting, that's why you say squatting. Your auntie get robbed for land. Four land, your auntie alone go buy? How much you pay for one? For one? She has to go and report it to the police. You don't pay for squatting land, she get robbed. Yes, sir. she get robbed. Four land, she alone want. She don't want one, she want four. She go open, she own house this game. Success not got land with lease at the back there, that squatting. The same place of Florida, does her? Well, it's squatting. She ain't got no, she got to go report her to the police and she go see her headquarters and tell them who she get, give she money to. Right? Safe, brother. Cool. Uh, she buy four land and she ain't get she lease? She get robbed. Make he get robbed. You are careful when you are giving guy even your own family money for do anything. It's chipping this is Yes, you get land and next thing he gives you the money for buy four land down here. Eh? She the lady was selling land at the back there for twenty thousand dollars. She pays seven hundred thousand dollars for one. Four land? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Me glad for get one land right now. Because if me get on land right now, I've got to struggle for build fences, so she buy four land. And obviously, with the, whoever called from overseas is with he money. You understand? Four land? Jesus, Lord, help me. Help me with these people. Help me with these people. I ain't got good. And I actually buy four land of squatting area. <laughs> and they make it pay. <laughs> the boy said it I get lease. It I get lease. When you get lease for squatting land. You see the edge of the concrete there? Eh? Mm. The edge of this car. Oh rant. What are you talking about? So the black going side there. Eh? Side it there. Okay, but well, you still got chip the edge there. Yeah, and make sure it meet the fence solid, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is it? Right, your tongue, son. All right, yeah, crossing, crossing across that too. Yeah, make sure. Well, watch, no watch. Nice move, yeah, well, move the wash sign and before we look coming for driving here, you ain't got place. No, but you know, we ain't casting as yet. It's still a half. No, when I done the piece, they, they got the piece. What happen? How you could drive for now? We just set him down there for the come down. It's just clear now. Oh, all right, son. Cool. Is he going on here? Then people share money. Me and look for me. Oh, oh, they ain't got bounty farm thing. Alright. So, what you gotta do? What you gotta do? Why you got something to do? Auntie uh, pull a fast one. A foot and money. Soon, a fool and his money soon parted. No way, what can I tell you? This is really easy. Four hours, lad. Since she called me and tell me though, I stopped talking. She she ain't got an hand back to me, fool. You can call me, hey, listen to me. I get robbed people for a thousand dollars. What try to rob me a thousand dollars? You can't rob me, you know. You only have to try to rob me a week around. <laughs> you can't rob me. I funny bad with hair. I go ballistic with money. I serious with money. I don't make joke with money. Yes, I feel. I feel. 
the people them who gonna reach to the top and thing is who not petty. So me not petty. You understand? Me no bad money not fool me eye. No bad money not fool me eye. Since a grow a young man growing up, since a child, me mother always taught me don't trouble with the money and I used to thief will change out of my stepfather um, pocket, uncle board. I used to thief will change out of the pocket and buy sweetie and hack anything he has. Eh? Right? But no. When it comes to money, I serious with them, think they're bad. Anything else, any, you could abuse me and tell me anything. Once it's not true. You understand? Why is this thing? Anything, anything. Because Guyanese always um, calling slangs and calling blah blah kind of names. So I don't mind. But when it comes to money and them things, and thievery, me serious bad. You understand? That's why God moves. Remember God moves. They allow me old judge. Mo. You remember I freak out with the thing? I don't make joke. I study you for the rest of my life. Yeah, I don't make joke with certain things. And the thief, man, Ganesh. Yes, and don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of the story. People never, this is the problem. People write story, how Ganesh thief, and he already know he's thief. I can get clarity, I can interview the people them. Hello, good morning. Hi, I'm Ganesh Cricket. Speaking. Hi, here you are. Um, I see you on live, but I, I didn't see you in your arm thing. Anyway, Mr. Cricket. Hello? I listening to you, brother. Hold for me, hold for me. Let me put in the car now. This is the problem with this country. Everybody want to talk, but they ain't want to talk. <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, buddy. He's a thief more. Says he's going to school. He thief in. Where school he used to go? And Regina Secondary. And he thief in money. Oh, the people back and say, long he on this thing. Man, you gotta get you gotta get the students to come out and you gotta call one. My people know he go to let me deal with this thing and done safe. Don't worry. Every morning we can devote a five minute to Ganesh, MP. My pal is history, we come from your yes, side, and the TV way right up to the top. Safe, Roger. Uh, cool. Whole, this whole week I devoting to you. I've done said, so I got to do it. This whole week. Now I'm going to search for the person name for UG. The mom's got reports and things right down, and who went there at the time and so. A man done call, went to school with Ganesh and said, Ganesh, TV is in school days. TV money out of students' bag and so. You want to play stupid with me? You don't know me, but I don't take likely to say, call me anything and I don't make joke with me and money. I don't make joke with money. And don't try to involve me in stupidness. Yes, yeah, sir. I tell you all in advance. I take it personal. He know what's going on. He called me yesterday with an issue. No one going ever put up on me page how he waited for some $60,000 or anything. I call this man. This man said, we, we, we. The man said, he don't want to give no money to Ganesh. He won't give. You want to get the families. Blank call me last every morning. I didn't go. Because me and the interview give me, me give you money for give you. I hand it over, do a handover and them things now. Yeah, brother. How are you? 
All right. Um, is you the camera last night for um, collect the money? Yeah. Okay. Right. Call you from what? What we the time? What we? you call me in connection with last night? Oh, I called you in connection with the attempted uh, robbery. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Save, save, yeah. save. I did follow up with it. Go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roger. I'm following up with it. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Famous man, no. Is it going any? Oh, we're driving through the traffic. Oh, the police sending it through. Let me them shipping this way. I'll just step on. And if you feel there's a method of getting into me at Ganesh, yes, it is in getting me at the only problem is that when people get in me at, I just retaliate. So you got no though. That's why you're no good. Currently for me. Uh, they carry this man up on this number. Yeah, I can't hear you. I can't I didn't go. You looking for teeth, my friends. They got the wrong body trouble. What were the final days of drug addiction like? Hey, good morning, Patrick. I was calling yesterday when the judge told me because we talked about it. Yesterday, I can't. There are interludes, periods, maybe even entire narratives. The boy stole his mother money. I got talked to him, mother. We got an issue, mother living. I got talked to Shelly, she tell me, but when he used a thief, when he did smile. Ganesh never your friend. The man is a snake. Oh shit. Hello. <laughs> Can I turn with you? Hello. Hello, good morning, critic. Hi ma. Can you check your page and see how much scammer is on your page? They're too annoying now. Can you block some of them? Well, we just black at, I don't know where the moderator there, but we just, just black it and just see it. Oh my god, they're using your platform this morning to scam people. Uh -huh. They safe. message me so much time on your page. Safe, safe, safe. I got to adjust something today for dealing with the scammers, don't worry. We got to Say they come in and when done, no ambulance didn't turn up. Three to four them I call it, they say they come in and no ambulance didn't turn up. But yeah, can you please tell me that what kind of service? This is the kind of service was kill you. Lima, Ganesh, your mother living in Lima. I gotta go and check out your mother and do an interview with you. She must be thinking him, oh God, how this little thief is, son, why he got thrown at an MP? <laughs> Lima, Ganesh, what a lady, Lima. I'm going to pass a check shot over there, it's the Kibu. I'm going to say, Auntie, you don't know your son driving involved with that guy, dude. She says, son, you don't know the pick me. I don't know how he's lying and he's thiefing. I'm glad he's gone and he make his own life and so. But like he get older, he not lying, he not lying. I'm a liar and thief in. <laughs> you want a problem? You want a fudge problem? You don't get one and get one.
The man Ganesh, my pal, is a big scam. Years ago, before you get MP position, you rob the people of Wakenham. I will block them from the page after your life. You gotta block them while the life going on. Yeah, you got black them. You, you watching it live? When they run it. Roger that, roger that. Right, safe. I gotta tell you what for do for, for counter them. His mother is watching the live right now. Auntie, tell me about your son Ganesh. Your son Ganesh try to involve me in a corruption thing. Tell me about your son Ganesh. Somebody tell me Ganesh Moro watching the live right now. So you remember friends and see who friends are watching us. So you got you got you guys don't want to talk to me, Auntie. Your son not gonna stay in me name. Me was gonna dig up Sunday school story alto. Yes, and me not easy. You better talk to your son, tell him. Tell him buy the buy critic, the buy not too nice, head not too good. Mad crazy head not good. Ganesh! Ganesh, Ganesh, stay away from uh, Rodriguez, stay away from Critic. I buy it, I buy it, I go in them. I buy a course and abuse in that one. In that one. I buy it, like it's not too good. Ganesh, for your own good, buy So Ganesh, more attack to them. Ganesh, for your own good, buy me, tell you, stay away, pick me. Picnic, me know you, you have a son, me know you're wicked and you're thieving and so. All them problems I give you. But now you tie up with critic, oh my god. You call name and so, you call me name and we me live and so. Apologize to Ram. <laughs> the Biden is easy. The Biden is good. Oh, very, very here. Me is get poor. Be no big joke. Me no and, and most people don't know that because it is feel like me is take any kind of joke. You come here, anti man, I can't. You come here, my laugh. When it comes to money, I trigger off just a try. Yes, sir. I just get vexed if I ask somebody about money and they making joke and laughing. I don't know. I want a bill. I want how much money I spend. I want me to make joke. Yes, I with money. No joke with money. Money is not a thing for make joke with. You wanna get me vexed? Screw wrong money and me. You can't get me vexed on you cost me, tell me anything. Blah, blah, blah. Me alright. Money. If you want the poverty, if you watch poor people, they're always making joke about money. Yeah. <laughs> not me. Don't make money joke with me. Serious bad with money. I don't want your money, I want me own. Yeah, somebody said Ganesh Mother watching the live break. You better talk to him, Andy. For your own good. If he's listening to your talk to him. So, what else we got cover? What else we got cover? We got things for do this morning. Mm. Something, something, something. Oh, shucks. I was going to tell Michael something. Returning a missed call, brother. Hi, um, we have a breaking story with 
like his uh, project with him. We're about to do some seashop dog meat at Marseille and some other supermarkets. So we want to know if you want to be on the ground there. Uh, Waterloo, Water Street, next to Harris Street. Where they buy Matai's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's one of the storage bars in the areas. So, you're yeah, doing what, duck curry? Seizure of duck meat. What do you mean, seizure duck meat? Who does seize duck meat in Guyana? Seizure of imported duck meat. Oh! I'm coming there right now. Is imported dog. What is import dog meat? What the fudge is this? How does how does import dog meat? The man I get jailed for life. Who got import dog meat and try to take bread out of Guyanese mouth by? What madness is this? This what the blood clad? How did this? You know, there's a big thing in there. We got with local duck seizure or duck meat. The man who imported meat got get jail for life. He's a menace to guy in his society. Yeah, so. Have steel that we can tie at the top of when the blacks them come up and just where they where you're going to cast at the side we could put steel in it too. Uh, well, um, we can our uh, daddy coming back there just so we can try to buy the steel and let me do it with steel one time, Roger. Then from the black to the other piece of concrete coming back. You're tying all around, cast all the, the top off one time. Roger, son. We got, we got to do it strong. Remember, trucks still driving and I think they said, got to do it strong. Yeah. Safe, son. Roger. Why are you trying to develop a country? They got one, you know, you could bring in a, a container duck meat. You know how much duck farmers and, and people who just get to sell the little duck, three hundred dollar, four hundred dollar pump. It's gonna take blue. Me don't believe them, man. Me I gonna see them. Me I gonna see them. Me don't believe them. Me don't believe them. Me don't believe. Me I gonna see. That's a prank. That that gotta be a prank. They pull it for me, them. Just for throw me off me IT shit. Duck meat important. The person that got jailed for life over import dog meat for put poor man out of bread out of them. When you are going to do this business for make money for yourself, you yeah, don't think how it is affect other people. No, but I don't think how we you doing does affect other people. You, you, you can make money and that good and so on. in a capitalist um, society, but you don't think well what can happen when you put a man a man on the highway thing in and and. And that's why there's rob and kill are you. That's why y'all just get more though. And y'all don't understand you gotta balance in the society. When you were put a man, a man hustling on the thing, with the cutlass, he ain't a, he ain't a bright or somebody, my little duck and thing. You understand? Know and next thing he's selling no duck, you put it out a bread. And he come and rob you and kill you. That's how we all is, that's how we all end up so. You gotta think about who you're doing, buddy. You gotta think about the poor man, you can't about you alone. You want money. And then you want to live in a society where you want protection. And you want protection for the government while you making problems for the people. We gotta think for one another. All like me is calculated what you're gonna do. How we're gonna affect people and all them things a long time. And they had no time with nobody. But we gotta start thinking so. 
you go in and I bring it talk meat. You know how much this across this country like Essequibo. You know how much people does their livelihood. You even say well you won't go and buy up the ducks them and process it and produce it. You importing duck meat. Whoever doing that guy got jailed by. I got jailed by just like raping a nation by everything I ever get in. When everything is big business, one to the poor people, right now. Poor man, I can't get a break. This, 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 this poor man or anybody could mind two dog. You understand? Know you get a little dog for eating thing. It isn't easy, man. I think that's the problem. We just, everybody, just expressing a high level of selfishness. You yes, understand? Shit. God help us. And this man of the 22 year old, I put up a picture there. He's 20 something, go here, a 13 year old girl. Care back the blame girl, children, young, get jail partner. Care back the blame girl, and the family can't tell you if the boy get locked up, how the girl go about girl school and all that, and all that. Care back the people, them girl, child. You got jail partner. When they test that girl and see she's sexually active, 13, she ain't got nothing to say. She can say she open, she put it, she give you all. Then I got nothing to do that. She can't consent. A young lady at the age of 12, 13, 14, 15 cannot consent to any sexual act. You understand? Care back them people, children. You get yourself a problem. And I don't know is what kind of family you got. We got big hard back 22 year old banner and you ain't tell you that he can't do things like that yeah i gotta stop we living in the 24th century it's low life hungry belly ways yeah i got oh my son like the girl and they say your son is a rapist your son can't like a 13 year old girl your son can't like a 13 year old girl if you will take your husband to the laws do not allow for that. The buy like the girl, and uh, you gonna buy like no buy can't like girl, girl can't like buy. <sighs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Speaking. Yes, ma'am. Hold for me. How can I help you, ma'am? Uh, uh. What, Jesus, Auntie, just get to the point. Me, I got a drive in, a depot, my life. Where is it? Oh Jesus Christ, Auntie. What is it? I will look into it right away. Like syringes and these kind of things. I will look into it right away. That should not be. Those things have to be um, disposed of in a proper manner. I will look into it right away. Okay, all right, we'll do, right? Uh, safe, safe, safe. Uh. Uh, somebody said a dump a, a load of medical waste at the back by by thing the syringe children running all about the place, syringes and all them thing. Though you know we can't afford that. These things have a dump properly. Who is the person dump though? You know, when the hospital giving people things to dump and rubbish to throw where they don't find out if these people are legit people, where is do just get somebody and say, come with your truck and dump thing. You know, these people, yes. 
Well, you don't know what, 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 what those syringes and more if it's syringe in general, you don't sterilize a syringe before you throw it away. Medical waste is disposed of in a certain manner. You understand? And I don't know, syringes can't dissolve, so I don't even think that medical waste of the, uh, Shit, boy. We study this country and how we just operate. We should have just got some horses and everybody riding around shooting one another like cowboy guys. This, this is it. And everybody want to talk, but they want to talk. <laughs> this is the next thing. Everybody like talk, but they want to talk. This affects you. If, when you go and get bored, you don't want to talk for here, but if you would go and get bored, you're, you're talking. This affects you, this affects your family. You never know who it could affect. Your little grandson, yes, and it, 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 